All right, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. So, uh, it's late. I just finished my stream. I look kind of, yeah, kind of roughed up, but uh, here we go. Let's start the intro. So, I play solo in this gameplay video, and I'm going to play the two thin clocks. We're going to play the Martini Henry repost. Out of the Martini Henry family, this is probably my favorite. Then, we're going to play this one with the Sans Nagant, the with the Dusk skin. So, one of my favorite pistols right now. I think it's uh, the uppercut and Sans Nagant are my favorite pistols right now. Very solid loadout. You have something for all distances. The Sans Nagant lets you move fast through PvE, and the Bayonet is your emergency close range. Tools, I have the Nutcracker because, well, I have a Bayonet, so I need something for emulators. I take a med kit with the Cold Snap from the Christmas event skin. The decoy fuses, I like them for pushing when I have like a bayonet or to flush out campers. I don't need the choke bomb because I'm playing solo. Constantina trip mine because uh, I try to make it work. Um, most of the time it doesn't. Uh, for those people who now say, but you can use the choke bomb solo for zoning. Good point. I like these things here more though. Then, consumer boss, we have a vitality shot, the dynamite bundle, the flash bomb, and the constantina bomb. Uh, pretty standard. You could actually swap the Flash Bomb for Hellfire Bomb or the Concertina Bomb for Hellfire Bomb. Since I'm playing the Martini Henry, which is long ammo, when you hit somebody with the Hellfire Bomb, they become a one-tap to the body with the Martini Henry. So that is pretty nice. I also got pretty lucky here regarding the trades. I got Fending, Poacher, and we also have Horn Skin. So, we really have a solid loadout. We have the Martini Hand Repost. We have the Science Nagant with Fanning. Potra, since we have the traps, might be nice. And Hornskin is just a bonus. Also, we're gonna play the new Legendary Hunter. His name is Carter. And he is looking pretty nice. And damn, dude, those are some thick gloves. Let's have a look at our first encounter, where we have to take on uh, multiple teams and bounty carriers. Enjoy! She should hear me. He or she or whatever. Didn't see the skin. Not fucking peeking though. I think she sits right in there. Am I am I fucking losing it? Currently. Probably has a shotgun, yeah, but not moving there on the decoy was pretty balls, man. It's an issue because I needed force to rotate. And if there's somebody sitting in there, then... Uh, oh, yeah. Kind of sucks, right? I can do a huge rotation and tr try to shoot back the moment she shoots me. Maybe it was just a weird shadow, and I'm imagining things. That's a derringer. From earlier, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna rotate and hope she doesn't kill me. Need to do a huge flank here. You can probably see now why I dislike doing this because there's almost no fucking cover. Alright. So people over there are shooting against people from there. Seems like nobody knows that I'm here. Which is kind of nice. So I try to get this dude first. 
He seems to be super focused on the boss fight. Or the boss lair fight. I still don't 100% believe it that there's nobody in that forest. But I would be dead by now, I think. outside. You're welcome. Nice bullet. Yeah, I didn't lead it properly there to be honest. I don't need to loot them, so... already in there. How did he get that close? No, no, you fucking don't. That's water, dude. Who the fuck died now? Oh, fuck. Too far to the left. He's in there. No. All righty. Pint of hay. There's still more. A girl died. To what? What the fuck? Who are you? Who's that red shirt? Is that the teammate from that from that sniper girl? Oh. 
Oh shit! I'm stuck. I'm gonna die because I'm stuck at the root. Almost. Almost fucking died because I got stuck there. Oh, come on! Keep on running that way! Dude, I hate these wither boys. Come on, you have an advantage. I'm in the open. The fuck? Continuous running. Yo. What is this guy doing? What? Is he naked? That's why he has a derringer! So that red shirt was uh, a rat? <laughs> no king shame, I'm a rat sometimes myself, don't you worry. He had nothing, like he had a derringer and the frag bomb, so I decided to let him go. So he can come back and loot the corpses, get some weapons, even get a token, he never grabbed it, but hey. And uh, I went down to the other boss to grab the second token. this here. No, it's fine. It's fine. It felt weird, but it's totally fine. Oh, nice. Is it? There we go. Great. I mean, I controlled the recoil a little bit, but... It is kind of weird. Yeah, upcoming Sunday will be the Dolchening. It will be amazing, it will probably be shit. Whenever people think something will be amazing, it's not that good then. Murphy's Law. <laughs> Test it on a wall. But I don't... I mean, there is recoil, I don't know how the old recoil works. That's the problem. Oh wow, thanks for the decoy fuse game. That's exactly what I wanted there. Nah, the uppercut is still better than the Lamette. You take the uppercut in the shotgun loadouts, but it's sweet, sweet punch at range. You don't take the uppercut for fanning. You have to do quick steps then. Alright, I think we can leave. Alright, let's go. So I would say it's going decent. Where are you? Another oh, there you are. Asus, thank you for a year, dude. Nice. Thank you. Give it up. Good hunting. Thank you. And these tools. The prime. There you go. 
Why did you kill them? They shot me. Okay, that was kind of uneventful there at the end. Let's jump into the next match. I spent um, a ton of skill points because I got a lot. <laughs> Whispersmith is nice, especially when you play with Bionets. Then we have Lightfoot, Determination, Pack Mule, and Doctor. Those are probably my four out of top five traits. Uh, only Greyhound is missing. I actually don't know why I didn't pick Greyhound. Overlooked it, I guess. I bought Gatorlax. Dauntless, over kite skin, yes, I made actually quite some Dauntless plays lately, so not too bad. And Serpent, because I'm a soul. And sometimes uh, meat hats and stuff like that can be pretty annoying. So let's see if we can get some Poacher value. I think there's somebody in here. One. Oh, shit. Seems to be only one, though. He's placing traps. He's placing double traps, by the way. Oh, this is so mean. Slurp your token? Mm, I don't want to. Alright. Well, I have to say, poacher coming in clutch. He had fanning too. Could have fanned it badly. Guess I have to pick it up. There's still the crown somewhere, but. Only one. Okay. Nice engagement, though. Kind of fucked up my initial shot, though. It's making me kind of sad. Honestly, I think I keep this. Yeah, whatever, dude. Take your crowning king. Make yourself happy, dude. Alright, you know, I always say on stream, the moment you buy the game, you can play the way you want. You do not owe anybody a certain playstyle. Alright? That does mean, though, that uh, I have to like what you're doing. There is no 2D replay yet. I hope it will come soon. 2D replay, by the way, is um, where you see the map and then the dots moving and the dots are representing players so you can see the movement of the players. Like a heat map, basically. Um, so without a 2D replay, you never really know if people are camping the whole time or if they just arrived a couple seconds before you. So be careful with any accusations there. But my impression is that these guys were extraction camping and that's one of the few play styles that I cannot stand, so have fun sitting there and fighting bounty carriers. If the bounty carriers 
you know, let me go. Hi, right, Embers, come back. You know what, Embers? Listen. Wait, wait for the next boss and then come back. Take a little bit of a rest from the game and come back when... Here we go. That's the crown. And there's two. Those guys are probably the dudes that uh, killed the boss. No, they're not! Yo, fucking extraction camping rats. Hey, that Manu, thank you for the eight months. Like, now I would love to see a 2D replay. Were they doing something in the meantime, or...? Well, they're just chilling there because the bounty carrier is definitely. Uh... I could run towards Sweet Bell and fight over there. No mm -hmm. fucking. I can outrun them. I have Greyhound and Determination. These guys will not be able to catch me, but the Sweet Bell boys will probably not let me. Let's see what happens. I play with 115 frames ish. The perfect FPS suit that's. I can't answer that. Let's see what the other bounty is doing. Fuck. <laughs> well, well, well. Uh, this will be kind of an issue. <laughs> But they have to know what's going on, right? They see me run back. Why would I run back? Oh boy. Extraction campers should have the fingers broken. No. If they want to play like that, then it's fine. They bought the game not to owe you a playstyle. Sorry, man. Doesn't mean we have to like that, but we can stay, you know, kind of civil. <laughs> Poor guys. All right. And then we have our final round. I bought a few more trades in between, like Frontiersman, then we have Adrenaline, and we have Pitcher. Mike, why didn't you buy Kite Skin? You're missing that. Why do you buy Adrenaline? Because I'm stupid. Why didn't you buy Greyhound? Because I'm stupid and tired. So, <laughs> let's just skip this. Um, this round was pretty intense. Uh, First of all, I think it's pretty cool to see what the Concertina Bomb can actually do. Besides just blocking paths and blocking revives, although it's a little bit of a gamble. Also, ladies and gentlemen, don't drink and dolls. Yeah, boots, I know, right? What in the fuck? Dang it. He 
He has some awesome fashion sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Is it more than two? Uh oh. Well, I guess that answers my fucking question. Let me just go into a position from where I can't retreat anymore. Alright, what's up with you? Hmm? What are you doing there? <laughs> oh. How did that not flash you? That landed right there. What? And why was she not fighting? <laughs> Would playing so P? Dude, they are so fucking strong. I don't really understand what happened there though. Yo, wait a second. Is this your teammate, Sniper Girl? Oh, you got a teammate, you say? Hmm. Well, well, well. Got a little friend for you, just for you. <laughs> yes. Could be a solo. Flash bombs are so inconsistent. Uh, I was starting to like them again. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Oh. Have you had any issues with new hunter model not rendering in mic? No. Uh, I don't need to uppercut. The Martini Henry has enough bullets. So taking the uppercut for ammo pool is nonsense. And if it's about fanning, the Delamette wins clearly. Fire rate, recoil. No reason to take the uppercut, to be honest. It's better for the follow up shots when you attack them with the Martini at range. Yeah, sure, but. I like the fanning power. Yo! Were you actually a goddamn solo? What the fuck were you doing then? Mine. Oi! Hi, bro. Well, that's not fucking cool. You better come my way. I'm gonna be pissed. Nice. They are coming. It's a duo though.
<laughs> okay, an uppercut. Probably shotgun, so let's get closer. Is that the bounty? No. <coughs> yeah. You gotta be shooting me. He's right there. I fucked that shot up. I can't fucking do it. <laughs> Fuck! Why didn't I? What the fuck, my dude? Fucking concertina bomb, eh? Yes. Mmm. Man. Yeah. Sorry for screaming. The fuck, the reverend was fucking drunk, guys. Ah, they're gone. I don't fucking care. Woo! All right, I'm alive now. Man. Yes. Another mind breaks and joins the psychotic host. What's gonna assist? This is Carter. You will see him in a bit. And then you shoot you in they shoot you in the back and they're assholes. Making truce is cool, but uh, getting shot in the back is just uh, small PP energy. Wow. <laughs> nice magic. <laughs> Does the special ammo changes make the door significantly stronger? What? No, no, no. Listen, that thing never was special ammo before. That was medium ammo with the stats from today. It got actually nerfed by making it special ammo. How much hunt dollars would you have if you never would have prestige? That's the wrong question. How much hunt dollars would I have if I would actually try to make money? No idea. Probably a lot. Nice dude. Holy crap! Yo, 
maxed out a fucking hunter as a whole as a solo. As a holo? Okay. Nice! Maxed out Carter. Sweet! Yo, nice! Carter is looking pretty awesome, especially with the tooth and claw and these thick gloves. Really digging the skin. Surprised me to be honest, because at first it was my like meh. But seeing something different at the hands of your hunter is pretty nice. Also, it's rare for me to max out hunters on my own, so that was nice too. More noise noise can be seen on this wall here, my amazing patrons. Thank you guys a lot for the support. Thank you for watching, this time it was more of a gameplay video. They are nice from time to time, I see you in the next one. Until then, have a good day and bye bye.